नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग मेजरमेंट ऑफ मास सो वॉट डू मीन बाई मास फर्स्टली मास इज़ द मेजर ऑफ क्वान्टिटी ऑफ मैटर कंटेंड इन अ ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस काइंड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट आई एम हैविंग सो इन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट वॉट इज द क्वान्टिटी ऑफ मैटर कंटेंड इन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट लाइक हाउ मच क्वान्टिटी ऑफ मैटर हाउ मच क्वान्टिटी ऑफ पार्टिकल्स आर अरेंज इन दिस ऑब्जेक्ट दैट क्वान्टिटी ऑफ मैटर विल गिव यू मास ऑफ दैट ऑब्जेक्ट ओके एंड मास ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज ऑलवेज फिक्सड इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस टाइम टू टाइम नो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज एनी वेयर इफ यू विल गो फ्रॉम लाइक अर्थ टू मून ऑल्सो दे आर ऑल्सो इट विल नॉट चेंज मास इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज एनी वेयर येस वेट इज गोइंग टू चेंज ओके वेट कैन बी चेंज फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस बट मास कैन नॉट बी चेंज फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस और टाइम टू टाइम so next we are having si unit of mass so what is the si unit of mass si unit of mass is kilogram kilogram symbol is kg in small letters and here also k is in small letter okay so it might be this kind of standard weight you have seen in some different kind of shops 1 kg mass is there okay next we are having instead of kilogram we are having other units of mass also other units of mass for example we are having gram in order to measure small quantities next we are having like quantal quantal in order to measure big quantities or larger quantities okay next we are having metric ton metric ton is also used to measure like multiples multiple means too much heavy things if you want to measure then that metric ton unit you will use okay next we are having milligram in order to me measure very small quantity of something that should be in the milligram okay next we are having weight so what do you mean by the weight mass of an object is measured actually might be you have seen this kind of beam balance when you are going to measure some mass in the left in the second pan you are going to use some kind of standard weights might be you have seen this kind of thing so in order to measure the mass we are going to compare it with the standard mass and this comparison process is known as weighing that we are weighing something okay and this is standard mass this is standard mass which we are using for the comparison this is standard mass is nothing but a weight which we are using okay in order to calculate the mass we are comparing it with the standard mass and that standard mass is nothing but a weight and the process of measuring something is known as weighing next we are having types of balances in order to measure the mass actually we are using beam balance uh, mostly we are using the beam balance in order to check the mass of any quantity if question will come like this like with which material with which instrument you can measure the mass then you can measure measure the mass by beam balance like this but instead of this beam balance you can use different materials also like next we are having pan balance pan balance is also means related to beam balance only here you will put the object here you put the standard weight then it will come in the like same direction then you will calculate the mass okay so next topic we are having measurement of mass by using a beam balance as we have learned that by using a beam balance we can easily measure the mass now what is the procedure how we can use the beam balance in order to measure the mass so here it is for measuring a mass of an object the object is placed on one pen for this is a beam balance so this beam balance we are going to use in order to measure the mass so how to measure the mass here for example this is a right side and this is a left side okay so the object which you want to measure that object you have to keep here this is a object this i am writing as object this object you have to keep in the left side in a one pan into the left side and the standard weight the standard weight which we are going to use in order to compare the mass that standard weight we are going to put in the right pan so the total weight of this standard weight is going to place on the right side that is going to balance the object which we are going to place for example this is of 2 kg and if this balance is going to balance like this it is going to come on a like a normal line so this weight of this object is also 2 kg or you can say mass of this object is also 2 kg so by using this beam balance we can easily measure the mass of any object by comparison it with the standard weight so next we are having measurement of mass using electronic balance might be this kind of balance you have seen in the shops also 
this is the electronic balance on which we are going to place some kind of mass and here some uh, readings are there electronic readings are there when we put the mass on it here it will show the like for example here object is kept and that object weighs 55.7 kg so mass of an object we can easily calculate that is 55.7 kilogram it is more efficient it is more accurate as compared to beam balance and nowadays we are using this electronic balance only okay